quote, the IPL brings with it the biggest threat in terms of corruption in the game since the days of cricket in Sharjah. You and Srinivasan yeah, so got I, together to do nothing? You were upset with po oh, Lord, yes, Lord so Condon for speaking I against got, the IPL? I got together with the ICC anti-corruption unit and we, we made sure that there was no corruption. And yes, I was with Paul. We discussed this with Paul. And, and, uh, that Because all the, all the people in the underworld and the betting mafia were trying to get close to the players. It was my report. What, what, really? No, no, no. One second. Which, who who from the underworld was trying to get close to the players? Stop there. Name the person. No, Name you, the person me, now. I don't want. I, I, I don't want to disclose. No, no. Why don't you want to disclose? Uh, no, no, no. One sec. Krishna Swami, he said because something. Have, there. Charu Sharma, you heard me correct? The, because I. Charu Sharma, Michael, he said. No, one second. second. Lalit Modi, stop there. Me, you just that. said that the people the from the underworld were trying you, to go get name. close to the players. Who? Name it now. Stop right there. Sebi colon comma full stop. Stop. Krishna Swami, should he name who the players are? Who the underworld was trying to get close to? Of course, of course. Name it. No, I mean, that's, that's a fantastic, that's an amazing revelation. Name it. Go further, Lalit. Go further, Lalit. Go and answer. Go answer. I want the answer from you. for me to name on the show. You just said so. I've already been sued by many players. Come on. No, this is ridiculous. Shishi Ratangari. of the ICC. The ICC anti-corruption unit should be naming the player as in action. Atul, do you think Lalit Modi should reveal who the members of the underworld were and which players they were in touch with? If members of the underworld were in touch with players, you should tell me who. It's for the job. It's for the... You should tell me who. Who to decide the name, not you and I. No, no. got to lose yes what's he got? why don't you say, announce the names what's he got to lose you know i mean we I'm, i find it i i would i find it strange or a bit comic here that people who were just warming the seat We've a minute ago and they vacated it by choice or forcibly suddenly try to cleanse the very same seat immediately he's trying to cleanse the system and it, we all come back to the same point you know if you've got names what have you got to hide now everything's out in the open we know what is wrong with it you know I, and uh, Guru because said the cricket is destroyed issues, cricket is not destroyed hindsight I can issues, agree with Mr. Modi on the of liable issues, issues. Can unfortunately I can't I can, I can only yes. give the names I can only right. give the names the to, the, to the committee yeah. and no, to no, the one second. One second. Charu Sharma. I'm sorry no no Charu Sharma no 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 one second one second hold on hold on Charu Sharma Charu Sharma no, no, one second. Yeah. Here is Lalit Modi from London, says I am vindicated, says on news hour at 40 minutes past 9. He says... I'm still sitting here. I'm not moved away. I'm still sitting here. Good. Of late, some people question, have been so running away from my programs. The question is simply this, yeah, Charu Sharma. I'm not. I sit here on your program all the way through. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I hope it's not glue that's making you stick there. <laughs> the question is this. The question, <laughs> Charu Sharma, yeah, should Lalit Modi right. tell us which members of the underworld were in touch with which, which players? Because if he knew it and he was quiet, there should be a the case against of the, of the Mumbai oh, police. If anybody, if anybody has any information that can clean the rot, stem the rot, please do come out with it. Everybody is begging for it. But allow me a few seconds to give you a very short history lesson. The whole thing started when the Indian Cricket League started out. The board suddenly realized, oh my God, here is, is a whole lot of money running away for a league that we don't support. So, to cut the ICL out was the IPL born. Uh, basically, the IPL is the official ICL. So, now, of course, everything is official. There is no doubt in anybody's mind that Lalit, of course, was uh, the commissioner and the man in charge. He was taking all the decisions. Many of the uh, other constituents of the board didn't understand what was going on. It was beyond their scope. So, he had a free run. There's no question about it. Time was very short, unholy, in terms of uh, just about three months to organize a league. I remember somebody coming from the U.S. and saying that once everything was ready, all lights are green. We should have two years to do a league. Here, you're planning everything in three months. Because of that time frame, the short time frame, a lot of mistakes were made. Now they're all coming back now to bite the board. The truth is that the lack of transparency, the lack of accountability and external scrutiny has allowed the board to say, well, if there's any problem, just sweep it under the carpet. And that's where the fan has been cheated. Shishir mentioned about the fact that people think and, and, and feel that no action is ever <coughs> taken to clean anything up. And that is a central problem here. And if that was uh, done earlier, the Supreme Court would not have done what it's done today to sort of deliver a whole flurry of punches. I'm glad they didn't pull too many. Yeah. So this lack of transparency is the biggest problem. It allows people to feel, hey, we can get away with anything. And they still feel they can get away with anything. Shailendra, you know, let me just get yes. Bimal can Soni in. Because, because... Yeah, Arnab. Yeah. Arnab, can uh, yes, I just sir. add, please? Watch, watch, watch. Let Arnab. that Bimal Soni come in. Yeah, you see, Bimal please? Soni, which is the Rajasthan Cricket Association. He's also been part of the cozy It's a human... He's part yeah, of the it's, cozy it's, club. It's a, I want an it's insider's a human view. Condition, you know, it's, it's no, no, such no. A, 
is such a heady feeling you know the adulation and the power which comes with controlling people you know Anna. and mr modi has been through that and you know it's just bad karma you know it happens you know anybody in that situation will feel that and try and do whatever he can do without realizing what is right or wrong no and mr 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 watson you, make it, a, you make it you make it look very innocent prime, you in make ICL, it look very innocent you know, which it is not livelihoods. And this is what has happened. No, 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 Mr. Now. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Wasan. No, good attempt. No, no, no good I'm just telling you what is as, good as attempt. You are basically they, saying they, they, Lalit you know, Modi has bad karma. Poor guy was trying to do bad. a good job. And this is the bad karma. For God's karma sake, you, you know that Lalit Modi was you. part, very much and part of the happened. cozy club. Yeah. And and today he is speaking out only because he was thrown out. That's the only reason. Name one person, Bimal Soni. Barring Lalit Modi, who was thrown out in 2010, who has spoken out from within the system against Srinivasan. The fact of the matter is there has been no opposition against Srinivasan from within the board. In September 2013, he was re-elected as president of the BCCI, unopposed. His influence is high. And today, people like Suman C. Raman say, so what? Why is the Indian cricket fan complaining? That there be corruption, deceit, rot, fixing... But why should the Indian cricket fan complain? Mr. Bimal Soni, Mr. Bimal Soni, please. Arna, we have deviated from the debate today. What I would like to say, please listen. Absolutely. First of all, a, a, what one channel, one other channel of yours is speaking that if he leaves CSK, if CSK is sold to some other buyer, he will contest the election in six weeks time and i'm telling you uh, if csk is sold absolutely by shrinivasan within this week he is eligible to contest the election after six weeks sure because sure. i have not read the report okay. i wish i could talk to mr harish salve no, this is this is, that, the then, this is that, this, that, that, then this is the biggest irony is it is blasphemous i am telling sad. you let's it discuss that Let's not discuss 2008 and 2009. Okay, so we discussed that. And let me also come back. No, no, one second. 2008 was a different era. One minute, Arnab, let me finish. I distinctly remember when Lalit Modi wanted to open the IPL league, he could not get eight franchises properly. He went personally to Mukesh Ambani. He went personally to Shahrukh Khan. And he got some of his friends to involve. And that is how so this IPL was started. But there should have been checks and balances. There should have been control. Because it was made very, as Charu has said, the league was done in three months time. There are bound to be problems in constitution, bound to be problems in the league. But instead of giving credit to your so-called cozy club, I know how much Lalit Modi spent in building the league. But no, at no, the please same stop time, massaging Lalit Modi's ego on television, Mr. Mr. Srinivasan, sir, Mr. Srinivasan sir, was if says opposing the league. But at the same time, sir, hold on, you know, hold on, you know, hold on, you know, let second. me finish. You, you know, I, I, I Mr. Mr. Sony. Let Mr. Sony, Mr. Sony, I give you one example. I give you, I give you one example of the Kohli club. Mr. Srinivasan, one second. First of all, what your argument is that the Indian cricket fans should be grateful. Is that Lalit has done mistakes. But those could be corrected instead of discussing five years from today. Okay, so Mr. Sony, have you finished? And because, also, because have you, please Mr. Sony, have you finished? Business of Mr. Today. Sony, have you finished? I can I go to the other panelists? Can I have them on the screen, please? Mr. Sony, <laughs> you know, if there's one you, person who has moved away from the subject, the it is you. President. If there is one person who has moved away from the subject, it is, a, it is entirely you. This cozy self-serving club is something you don't want to discuss. This concept no, of a no, cozy self-serving club, Mr. That. Sony, please, is not something that is conjured out of thin air, is it, Krishna Swami? The Supreme Court has mentioned it in its pri previous observations in <coughs> this case. Consider what it says in the exactly. context of Srinivasan's conflict of interest. The cozy club is there because the Supreme Court itself did not see it fit to assign the responsibility of penalizing them teams to the BCCI. The Supreme Court of India has no faith, has no zero faith on the cricket board. Mr. Srinivasan, and, and despite this, there are people who say, where's the Cozy Club? Krishna Swami, is there Arnav, any doubt about the Cozy Club and its existence Arnav, as a self-serving group? There never was. There, there never was. There are there a dozen was. people the who club always existed 
It has existed not in the past 10 years, it has existed for the past 50 years, maybe even more, maybe right from the time when cricket actually, say maybe 1932, Hello. you know, I mean, it's, it's always been there. I mean, every official who has been there has gone through so much of, you know, they go through, it's like, you know, first you play in school, then you play for the state, then you play for the zone, then you play for the nationals. Same way, the officials start from the bottom at the local level, national level, international level, they keep going. It's like an ascension to power. And finally, I come right to the top. And when I come to the top, I want the chair and I want to take it home also. Yeah. And I won't allow you to sit on it. Yeah, and, we, and now, and if it is taken away, then I want to clean it. Yeah, and, 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 and by the way, Chris Srikant, for example, Cozy Club, Lalit Modi was part of it in 2009. Chris Srikant is the chief of the selectors for the national team. He's also brand ambassador for Cricket Chennai Super Kings and the IPL. That's my question. Uh, on a the fact of the matter is that now that that the entire country, forget about the sort of legal debate. Well, Mr. Mr. Bindra's son was part of the uh, Kings XI Punjab team. Yeah, yeah, that's Saurav true. Ganguly was holding a post in the BCCI when he was captain of Pune Warriors. Hello, okay. can we, the, can, yeah, the there are so, no, no, so many what's your point? No, no, what, what you have a conflict of interest or had a conflict of interest. Are you saying that this is No, no, the point, this is no, the, the point is, Arnab, country. Arnab, it no. is welcome, it is welcome that the, so that the court today, has decided that, law, that this conflict of interest is not acceptable. The law could not punish Mr. Shinnasan for making the inappropriate decision of having vested interest and involving the conflict of interest. Whether it is Ravi Chastri or Sunil Gavaskar, Rahul Dravid, so many people who fall under that clause later, at some point of time. Mr. Shinnasan did not know that owning a team while he's a president of the board was incorrect. He did not know to appoint the chairman selector as an employee of his company is in, incorrect. It wasn't Mr. Srinivasan didn't have the presence of mind to realize that Mr. Dhoni shouldn't be working in his company as an employee while he's the captain of all the formats of cricket. Are you serious? And are you still advocating the fact the Supreme Court within the law cannot punish your Srinivasan? Fair enough. Agreed. But a billion people don't understand that? I mean, is this the way you want the sport to be run into the future? No. This Suman, is Suman, Suman, Raman, yes. Suman, I mean, Raman's, argu so, Raman's argument is basically this. One second, Mr. Raman, let others speak. Arnab, the, one, uh, one second, Mr. One Raman, minute. don't, don't, one second, Mr. Raman, Raman. Please, don't try and push your point, only your point on the program. There are others too. Fact of the matter is, you want to talk about Cozy Club, let's take names. Okay. Let's take names tonight. Ravi Shastri. Absolutely. Sunil Gavas. There are there are one the minute, Mr. Raman. Don't, don't say absolutely. So don't say absolutely. Who, who got a don't say absolutely. Don't say absolutely. They have denied there is any conflict of interest, even though they are on the payroll of the Indian Cricket Board as commentators while commenting on India series overseas, not just at home. Could they have taken an independent view? Do their contracts with the BCCI present the perception that they could take an independent view as commentators? Is that not conflict of interest? If they were indeed independent commentators, I'm asking you, why did Ravi Shastri and Sunil Gavaskar not absolutely. speak out against N. Srinivasan all this while? Has Sunil Gavaskar ever criticized no, Srinivasan absolutely. for his conflict of interest? Absolutely. No, what are you saying absolutely then? That's how the free cricket fan has been cheated. They have been cheated this in many exactly ways. This is exactly the question I have been asking. Uh, it's a, See, now you, you change your position. Shishir Hatangani, Krishna Swami, Sharu Sharma. My point is, everybody is... Shishir Hatangani. No, no, because you began by saying how is the cricket fan being cheated. One second. I just love the way Suman, you know, he, he, he argues, you know. The moment you, you throw back something at him, he says, absolutely. absolutely. And then he agrees with you. Please, please, He'll please start taking a few more names back. because he also they committed murder. Back. That's why I committed murder, so it's fine. I mean, it's you crazy. commit murder. If I've committed murder, both of us are acquitted. No, no, no. Because both of us committed murder. Hello, excuse me. Excuse me. Have we, this, how many, how many I'm news are debates have, been, have, been, have, have been, been, have been, have been held? Asking about the conflict of interest of the other think? players. Once, 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 once. Who is going to be punished uh, for the Mr. state? Krishna, you know what? I think even Arnav would have lost count about the number of debates we've had on the conflict of interest. May I, may I get Saad Ram? Saad, Saad, no, no, Saad. For example, it's been, it's been always on Mr. Srinivasan. The conflict of interest has been the main discussion from day one. From, from, from day one, we have been saying break the cozy club. You see, one second. But it's always been. So much. May I? It's always been in the focus. May I, with your permission, make a point? And can Saad come in for God's sake? The BCCI yes, is please. a cozy club. You want to know because the Indian cricket captain MS Dhoni, who is also the captain of Chennai exactly. Super Kings, is also the vice president of India Cements, a company owned by Srinivasan, who at the time of Dhoni's appointment is the president of the BCCI. For God's sake, what do you want to know? It's a comedy show. Exactly. 
And, and, Rahul and, and, and no, was it's a comedy show. Part of India Cement. No, no, he was playing against Chennai and, Super and Kings. Please, Mr. Oh, yeah. Aman. Please, Mr. Aman. And can I please have Saad responding? To you? Yes, Again, Saad. we are bringing it. Saad. We are bringing the link back to Mr. Srinivasan. Koji Club, Koji yeah. Club, Arnab, Arnab, Koji Club. Are all those people who have taken the money, who may take big sums of money, but have lost their voice. That is exactly what the Koji Club is. And beyond that, there is nothing. They've completely lost their voice. They don't have an Absolutely. opinion, and they are taking home tons and tons of money. And that's exactly my point when I first said, "Stop the money, and the you're closing club will, will fall you. apart." I, and no, that's how it has to be. No, you know, Saad, you know, Saad, the Indian cricket fan has been taken for a ride. I'm taking a few callers live now, and you want to know how the Indian cricket fan has been taken or for a ride, I, and you expect the same Indian cricket fan I, to come back tomorrow yes. and watch the IPL. The cricket fan has been taken for a ride, Charu, because I, he he put his faith in an institution that runs Indian cricket. And its former president has a conflict of interest. Its IPL team officials have committed sporting fraud. There is lack of transparency of this, which is a comment made by the Supreme Court. Series of players are in the dock for spot fixing in the IPL. This is right. Yeah, this and one of them, I'm sorry, some of them are rumored to be top Indian national stars. But why the names are not out? Uh, why are the names not out? I don't understand. Why the sentiment from the Supreme Court for the world? Why are the names I mean, out? Really? This Arna, the why are the names out? not out? One second, but we'll get everything out. Don't worry, Mr. Rama. Why are the names not out? Yeah, we, yes, Charu. Oh, well, hang on, yeah, Suman. Charu, so Suman, one second. Another, Let Charu uh, come. In. Another point. Yeah, just another point. About two degrees off. Saad mentioned it, and of course, a man who knows a lot about it mentioned it. Shalender as well. It's not power so much. Yes, there's there, but there's another five-letter word: money. And really, a lot is is is. That's the cause of a lot of trouble because the board keeps saying uh, or, or thinking that if they can sweep Absolutely. everything under the carpet. Uh, cricket will not suffer and cricket will carry on and cricketers will not suffer. But the truth is that the money may dry up, the money may run away. 40 other sports in India would be delighted if that happens, but of course not the BCCI. So to protect the inflow of money, everything is swept under the carpet. If they could only realize that, don't worry, the game will go on. If the IPL crashes today, it can come up in another form. It can rise like a phoenix a year from now, two years from now in a much cleaner format. So let's not get carried away about the fact that, you know, cricketers will suffer, the game will suffer. It will rebound. It's a huge, it's a fabulous game in India. Millions play it. It will always do well. We just need to clean exactly. it up once and for all. Exactly. And no, no, now he back. says exactly. Now you say exactly. You want me to give you more examples? <laughs> Gulu for example. Now he says exactly. Suman Sri Raman now says exactly. You forgot, did Suman Sri Raman Arnab, ever open his mouth Arnab, when Mohinda Ramana... Nobody Ramana's is disputing that the game needs to be cleaned up. Yeah, so Arnab, I'm Gulu, sorry. I'm sorry. Gulu, there is, Ramana, Ramana, there is a man Arnab, called Mohinda Ramana. There is a man called Mohinda Ramana. be corrected. Mohinda Ramanath Gulu, let's, let's, your cricket fan cheated Mohinda Ramanath who claimed that the selectors had taken a unanimous decision to replace a man called Mahinder Singh Dhoni as captain in 2012. Who stepped in to overrule them? N. Srinivasan. Sure. You want to ask more about how the cricket fan has been cheated, Gulu? So why did the selectors not resign in protest? Are, how many selectors that's resigned the in Gozi protest? That's club, no, no, Gulu. Besides, no, no, you see, uh, just a minute. Uh, uh, this, uh, because they were all part of the cozy club. The, because the they're the cozy club. That uh, you know. No, no, I want. I want to make a Everybody, couple of points that's here. That's it. Uh, Arnab, uh, Arnab, uh, excuse me. Uh, Sumant, excuse me. Uh, the point is that uh, Lalit Modi yeah. was removed in 2010 by the BCCI officials for alleged corrupt practices. Okay, a new set of people came in to run the IPL. That set of people have now been indicted by the Supreme Court. Uh, now, you know, if you bring in a third set of people, uh, where is the guarantee that they'll be any cleaner than the previous two? That is one question. Number two, uh, you know, the Modi camp is currently gloating and appearing on your channel and rubbing the hands in glee. Yeah. But uh, heaven forbid if that same Modi camp comes back, yeah. it will be like going from the frying pan to the fire. And the, other, the third point I'd like to make quickly here is, the Supreme Court has finally stripped the BCCI of its sacred cow status of autonomy. Now, if this Modi camp makes a backdoor entry exactly. and a coup and takes That's over the board, they which are is going the to Modi camp? Name them. Price. Which Modi camp? You mean Sh Sharad Pawar? The people who the people who have appeared on your channel over the last few hours, gloating over the Supreme Court verdict. I named them earlier. The people who have uh, office bearers when the clause was changed in 2000. Yeah. So then, My what happens is so that so whoever so is the new dispensation, the the new dispensation will now find themselves thoroughly exposed because it has taken the Supreme Court 18 months, countless hours and countless crores of rupees
to come to this stage where they have now forced transparency down the throat of the BCCI. And the BCCI in cricket will never be the same again in India, thank God. But the point is, whoever comes back and whoever is gloating over their so-called victory is going to pay a very heavy price if they do grab power because they will now be under scrutiny and yeah. they will be forced to be transparent. Yeah, you see. So it's a pirate you, victory. Yeah, you see. Srinivasan will be back. Yeah, yeah. Srinivasan can, can be back. Sharad Kaur will probably be tied to be BCCI chief. To and I'm sorry to say it, who really cares or gives a damn for the Indian cricket fan? We got two cal callers tonight. Who cares okay, for the Indian about, cricket fan? Look, it's all musical chairs. Absolutely. It's all musical exactly, yeah. chairs. Absolutely. One goes, the other one's a, absolutely. This cozy club overrules all absolutely. those who the take bold decisions. Now, all the those who are independent. Now, this cozy club, this cozy club is now under scrutiny of the highest court of the land and I don't, public scrutiny. I, I, you, know, public you, know, scrutiny you know, whoever, is, whoever falls ruthless. in line gets rewarded. No Ravi no Shastri is today team director of the Indian cricket team sure. till the World Cup. He was the person who praised Srinivasan becoming the IPL chief in June last year. He said, if you want my answer, it's a very good choice. When he was appointed ICC chairman, despite the Supreme Court stripping off the, his powers as BCCI chief, he said, Ravi Excuse Shastri me? said, uh, Ravi Adam, Shastri says, Adam, I don't think Adam. you should jump the gun. You see, the, this is a whole now, group of people uh, out there. I just before, want to, I just want to draw your attention to the same person called Lalit Modi, the Moses of cricket. Precisely. Precisely. So, yes. so who cares for the cricket fan? And people like Sumant Raman come and ask on television, what, how is the cricket fan being cheated? HV Suvarna, two callers tonight from Mumbai. He's a manager. Arna, HV Suvarna, minute. please. No, no, Sumant no, Raman, no, one I'm minute. Sorry, I'm sorry. The context has to be explained. You will have to be Arna, sorry for minute, what you say. Surely, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm glad you're sorry. At all. I, want caller, I want my caller. I want my caller. Mr. Suvarna is calling. He's been waiting for a Existence long time. Mr. Suvarna, good evening. Conflict of interest. Good evening, Mr. Suvarna. Mr. Go good ahead. Evening, Mr. Good evening, Mr. Goswami. Yes, sir, good evening, sir. Thank you for giving me an opportunity. I feel as a cricketer, as, as a cricketer, I have been cheated. As a cricket-loving public, I feel I have been cheated. Why not fix the criminal liability on this? Yeah. Why not fix the criminal liability on this? Yeah. Why not fix the criminal liability on this matter? I agree. It has larger, larger Shishir, what do you think? Shishir, what do you think? You want to answer, Mr. Suvarna? Let's Shishir Adangari respond to you, sir. Yes, why not fix the criminal the opinion of the nation and the cricket lover. I mean, we'll have the Sundar Ramans and today, mind you, is a bad day for Ramans at work, you know. All Ramans are in trouble, but that's okay. Uh, the fact is that this is what the public is talking about. This is what the public is saying in terms of what they've expected from the administrators, from the game, and this is what it has come to. That's right. Look, the very fact that the Supreme Court is give, telling you where you stand should be enough of an indication that look we are up shit creek but nobody is prepared to accept it we are trying to look for two bushels of shaf and two grains of rice it doesn't work that way accept reality that's the first thing we should do accept reality that's when you can take the game forward but if you don't do that you start picking at small things yeah, to yeah. save yourself and yeah. this is somewhere I, that I you will drown no 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 I don't stand stand for the public to come out and do that no no I think Soft, uh, soft rap, I little know, rap on the knuckles. Yeah. I mean, Neeraj, what, what? Neeraj is a businessman. He's calling in from 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 know, Delhi, Delhi tonight, and Neeraj is on the subject of the Indian cricket fan cheated. Neeraj, Mr. Gullu. Yeah, go ahead, Neeraj. Mr. Gullu. Uh, yeah, question is for Gullu. Yeah, Neeraj is yeah. Go ahead. Uh, you are being so defensive about Mr. Sirini. Are you catching me? About? Mr. Kulu, are you catching About me? what? You are being so defensive about yeah, Mr. Yeah. Sirin. Go ahead. What? Mr. Sirin Nibatan, you are being so defensive about him. Uh huh. Is it? I don't think he was being defensive at all, Neeraj. I don't know if you are speaking to Ms. Gulu so or to Mr. Sirin. Mr. Gulu, Mr. Gulu, I am talking to Mr. Gulu. No, I think then you got it wrong, Neeraj. He was not being defensive at all. No, He's no, been criticizing him through the entire program. program. Let's that move on. Got it well, wrong. well, one second. Sorry. Well, I think I think yeah. he got it wrong out there. Uh, the question goes to everyone tonight. I think that's that whoever there was confused. Is the IPL sustainable uh, after this? Has the Indian cricket uh, fan been cheated? In which ways do you think he is cheated? Can the IPL be sustainable the after what we've heard from the Supreme Court? The fate of many players hangs in balance. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition to Srinivasan, Mayappan, Kundra and Sundar Siraman, there are nine cricket players. 
नाइन क्रिकेट प्लेयर्स हुज रोल्स आर अंडर स्क्रूटनी These players have not been named, Shailendra yet. Why are the names not? No, out? but their roles are under scrutiny. It's not Why? just officials whose roles are under a cloud. Lalit Modi said tonight, Charu, that the underworld was in touch with Why? certain members of the IPL playing squads, and then he just stopped. He clammed up. I think he should speak out now because these players are adored by billions of people, Charu. Throwing. These players are adored. These players are followed. I think that's that's the most important point tonight. Arnab Charu Charu please the question is to Charu. There is evidence against the players. The question is to Charu Suman. For India. Well yeah yeah No no but do you of think course, the court you know, will the allow them to play for been India if there is yeah, serious Suman, evidence please, against them? Yeah Suman please just Suman pipe down. Uh, the, yeah. the the problem is omerta the code of silence and and that happens because nobody wants to shake this bandwagon now i say again that if two teams are taken away from the ipl the other six are perfectly good enough and two other teams will come the, the fabric of cricket will continue to live on and and grow in india but not at the expense of lack of transparency and lack of action taken i think all those who now say that there is nothing wrong with indian cricket would co could possibly be in contempt of the supreme court's decision because they in their infinite wisdom uh, have come out with a fabulous judgment or a, a fabulous set of judgments and i think uh, it's amply clear to everybody that there is too much rot and and uh, it has to be clean if cricket has to suffer for a year to three let it it will bounce back Okay Charu Charu Sharma and to all my panelists I have to go to my next political debate I thank you very much for joining me on this big story on the news hour tonight